We are in Nia, everyone is in. Welcome to the morning Saturday shift. So we are gonna start with some warming up. Warming up, bringing that body's thermogenic temperature up. And how we are gonna do that is by having our hands on our hips like this. And then we're going to roll round, roll round, all the way round, all the way round. So we're gonna get some deep rolls. We're gonna go one way, whichever way that you're gonna go, and I'm gonna count the seconds for that way. So I'm gonna count down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hi Callum. And then we're gonna go the other way. We're gonna go the other way. And we're gonna go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You're gonna remain position upright, your knee's going to come up and then it's going to go the other way and then it's going to go down. Your other knee's going to come up and you're going to go all the way over and we're going to mobilise our hips, lubricate our hips all the way. We're going to do this for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, we're gonna stand quite wide and we're gonna to start to squat down. Try and go a little bit low, not too low. And then as we come up, knee is gonna come up to the hand. We're gonna go down and then knee is gonna come up to the hand. What we don't want is the hand going to the knee. We want the knee going to the hand. We want nice, deeper squats every time you go down. And I'm gonna do a countdown from 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now we're going to roll the arms out, roll the arms out. Big rolls, big rolls, nice and fast, nice and fast. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we go the other way, we go the other way. We go 5. Four, three, two, one. We stand and then we arm goes up. We arm goes up. And then we bend over and we come up. Arm goes down, the other hand goes up and we bend. And we go into a flow. We go into a flow. We go into a flow. Hand goes up, side bend. Hand goes up, side bend. Hand goes up, side bend. And we're side bending. We're side bending. Side bending, and then from there, hands go out, hip hinge over, and then we windmill, we windmill, we windmill. As we windmill, we're gonna feel our stomach. We're gonna twist our body all the way. And from there, once again, we go down, up, roll. We go down, up, roll. We go down, up, roll. Go down, up, roll. Roll, down, up, roll. And we do that for the next five, four, three, two, one. And from there, pace goes down. One step forward, keep the heel flat. Lean forward, get a nice calf stretch. As you get a nice calf stretch, you're going to hug the imaginary tree. You're gonna stretch your lats all the way out. So you're gonna lean more forward. We're gonna hold that stretch. For five, four, three, two, one. And then you're gonna go with the other leg. The other foot, the foot remains flat on the floor. You lean forward, so you collapse the forward knee. And then you hug that imaginary tree. And then you stretch over, stretch over. And we go for another five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, right. And now we are ready. Okay, so that was a bit unstable, that was. Anyway, you need a kettlebell to start. Okay, so the first thing that we are gonna do with a kettlebell is just simply squat lift, simple squat lift. So we're gonna straddle the kettlebell and hip, hip, and then knee in line with the toe, 
Grab that kettlebell, stand up. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna touch it and then we're gonna come up. Touch it, we're gonna come up. When you're ready, three, two, one, we go. Touch it, come up. Touch it, come up. That's it, nice. Nice, we're gonna get the flow. We're gonna get the flow. And then we're gonna start doing a countdown. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. I'm gonna break it down into 10 second increments. So we go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We've done 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We have got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. While we're here, one hand, one hand, one hand, and we're gonna start getting mobile. Start getting mobile, mobilization. Get the swing, get momentum, and what we're gonna do is swap over, swap over, swap over. As we swap over, we're bending, we're going. Use momentum of the kettlebell to bring you back up again. Momentum, bring you back up again. And we go, again, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We've done ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We've got ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then we go two hands, two hands, and we go eye level. Two hands, eye level. Two hands, eye level. And we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now we go sky level. Right up, sky level. And we go down. Sky level. 10, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and now we go eye level, sky level, eye level, sky level. We go 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, well done, well done. Small breather. We're gonna do that exact same routine again, but this time we're gonna go 15 seconds revolving, continuous revolve. We're gonna start with the squat, then the one hand, then we're gonna go into the swings, eye level, sky level, every single one, 15 seconds. If everyone is all right with that, then we are gonna get it going. Yes, so. All right. So we're gonna start. 15 seconds, squat lift. 15 seconds. And then we're gonna go into the one hand. One hand, 15 seconds. Then we're gonna go into the two. 15 seconds. Then we're gonna go sky, 15 seconds. Then we're gonna go eye, sky, 15 seconds. And when you're ready, three, two, one, we go. 15, 14, 13, 12. Oh, uh, you're frozen. Yeah, I've all frozen. Hold on, oh, there you are, there you are. Well done, well done. Right, let's go. So we're gonna go down again. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and we go. One hand, one hand, one hand. That's it, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We go two hands eye level, two hands eye level. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now we go sky level, sky level. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we go eye and sky. Eye, sky, eye, sky. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Well done, well done. Well done, awesome work. Okay, still keep it with that kettlebell. We're gonna give you another movement. As you recover, the movement will be this. If you cannot lift the kettlebell quite high, don't go as high. Simple as that, regress the movement, okay? We're gonna go for the one arm, squat, upright row lift. So, we are going to get gang. Good morning, Sue. Right, this is what we are gonna do. We're gonna squat and we're gonna upright row with one arm. Put it back down, upright row with one arm. We're gonna go 15 seconds one, 15 seconds the other one. Then, small breather, like about a 20 second breather, and we're gonna start to advance that movement. So, again, hips, quads, hands, glutes, shoulders, chest, back, or the whole thing, traps. Three, two, one, we go. 15, 14, arm goes down, legs go down. Arms go up, after the legs go up. So we're gonna go in unison together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then we swap sides, swap sides. And we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Small breather, so you get about 20 seconds. What we're going to do now is from the upright row, we are going to clean it like that. After we clean it like that, we are going to squat it like that. And we're going to go up, clean, squat. So it's going to be a clean across the body squat. And we're going to start in three, two, one. We go clean, squat. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We swap arms. Clean it on the shoulder, squat. Clean it on the shoulder, squat. Clean it on the shoulder, squat. We have got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Well done, well done. 20 second breather. We're going to advance that as well now. So, after you hydrate yourselves, this is what you're going to be doing. You're going to be squatting, you're going to be cleaning, you're going to be squatting, you're going to be pressing. So we go two squat, clean, press. Squat lift, clean, press. Squat down. Squat clean, squat, press. All right? So when you are ready, hydrate yourselves, get yourselves prepped up. Okay, three, two, one, and we go. 20 seconds each side, 20 seconds each side. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, 
and then we swap arms. We go, swap arms. Up we go, squat we go, press we do. And we go 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, well done, well done, awesome work, right, kettlebell, pauses for a moment, we're going to start off with some dumbbells or some weights, whatever you've got, light ones, we're going to go from dumbbell work, and we're going to go from floor, from dumbbell to flat floor work. So it's going to be the dumbbells or the plates, whatever you've got. We're going to work some shoulders, we're going to work some bicep, might work some tricep, whatever comes, nobody knows. And then we're going to go onto the mat, on the floor, do some abdominal work. So it's going to be like interacting with both, interjecting. The way that it's going to work now is we're going to go, we're going to go angled side lateral raise, we're going to come down and we're going to go front raise. So it's going to be side lateral raise and then it's going to be front raise. And we're going to do that for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, we're going to get down on the mat and we're going to do some crunches. After crunches, we're going to get the dumbbells again and we're going to go into shoulder presses. After we do shoulder presses, we're going to go back on the mat and we're going to do some planking. So it's going to be pretty beefy, pretty brutal. So when you are ready, 30 seconds, get your dumbbells ready. Side lateral, front lateral. In three, two, one, stay fast and let's go. We go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Fix your feet into the ground. Plot them. Fixate, secure, solid, well done. We have done 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We've got another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And we put the dumbbells down, we get on the mat, and you're going to. Lie on the mat, feet on the floor, knees bent, hands behind the ears, hands behind the neck, wherever you feel it appropriate. Flare the elbows, crunch up, make sure your shoulders are just elevating above the ground, just coming off, then they go back down. All you've got to do is small crunches, and we are going to do that for 30 seconds. We go, 10, 9, Eight, feel that crunch. Six, five, four, three, two. We've done ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You stay at the top, stay at the top, stay at the top, stay at the top. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep the elbows flared. Five, four, three, two, and then we crunch, we crunch, we crunch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then we get up. We get the dumbbells again. We're going to have them up. And we are going to shoulder press, 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 press. Go only as high as your body allows you to go. Listen to your body. Do not force it to do something it doesn't want to do. Just press it, press it, press it. We are going to go for another 25 seconds. Four, three, two, one. We've got 20 left. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We're going to give those that didn't quite start another 5, 4, 3, 2. Well done. We're going to get back on the mat. We're going to go into planks. You can do this with your elbows. You 
can do this with your hands, get in that plank position. And when you are ready, we are going to plank it for 30 seconds. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. For those that want a challenge, raise one leg up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. For those that want a challenge, raise the other leg up for the last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Well done. Well done. Awesome work. We're going to go for another round. It's going to be six different movements now. The first one is going to be how we started off with. Side lateral, front lateral. We're going to do that for 30 seconds. Then we're going to go onto the mat. Our legs are going to be up. Our fingers are going to be pointing to our toes. And we are going to crunch, be crunch. We're going to get up and we're going to get the dumbbells again. And we are going to squat, press, squat, press. And we're going to do that for 30 seconds. Then we're going to go back there and go on to more planking. But this time, we're going to do sally planks, sally planks. Then we're going to get the dumbbells. We're going to go into curl, squat, press, curl, squat, press. And then after that, we're going to go back onto the mat and we're going to do some more trunk, twist, abdominal crunches. So it's going to be beastly. So get yourself hydrated and we are going to get banging in a little, little while. Set yourselves up, set yourselves up. I can see some frozen screens. Gonna wait for the frozen screens to come off. The frozen screens are off. Right, you need dumbbells. So let's get the dumbbells, let's get the dumbbells. And we are going to start. It looks like I'm frozen. Am I frozen here? I'm frozen as of, oh no. Oh, here we go, here we go, you're all there, you're all there. Sorry, my fault, my fault, I thought I was frozen. Right then, so, when you are ready, we are gonna go three, two, one, side lateral, front lateral, and we go, side lateral, front lateral. Yes, wicked work. Wicked work. We're going to do 30 seconds of this. We have done 10. We have got 20 more to go. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We have got 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We put the dumbbells down. We get on the mat. And you want to... Bring your feet way up, legs up, your hands pointing to your toes, and you are going to crunch. You are going to crunch. And we go. 30 seconds, we crunch. 10, 9, 8, 7. Point them right up there. Try and bring your shoulders just releasing from the floor. Then you bring your shoulders back down. As soon as they touch, you're going back up again. Continuous movement, movement, continuous motion. Keep it going. You've got another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And now we're going to get the dumbbells again. We're going to get the dumbbells again. I'm going to say hello, James. Good morning. And with the dumbbells, we are going to have them as if we're going to shoulder press, but we are going to squat first. And then we're going to press. 30 seconds. When you are ready. Three, two, one, we go. Squat, we press. Squat, we press. 30 seconds of this beast. 30 seconds. Good. Nice. Solid. Solid work. If you can still see me. You, everyone's frozen. Now everyone's back in the room. Sweet. We are going. We are keeping this momentum going. We've got another 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then we're going to go on the mats and we are going to plank it. So, again, 
again. You can have your elbows on or have your hands in a press up and we are going to sally plank. In three, two, one, we're going to go down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Sally planking, that's it. We have got 25 seconds left of this beast. Keep it going ladies and gents, keep it going. We have got 20 seconds left. Keep the rhythm going. Keep the momentum going. Sally Blanking. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Well done, well done. Now we go into bicep curl. Squat, shoulder press, and it will be bicep curl, squat, shoulder press. Get your dumbbells ready. For those that are not frozen, get your dumbbells ready. And we are going to curl it, squat it, press it. For the next 30 seconds, we curl it, we squat it, we press it. Yes, everyone is synergy, everyone is together. Awesome to see. Awesome to see. Wicked. Those on Insta cannot see. If you're still there, I am grateful. Keep it going. Smash it. Completely annihilate it. We have got another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and now we're going to go into the crunch twist. Crunch twist. So, feet flat, knees bent, hands behind the head, elbows flared, crunch up, shoulder blades just released from the floor. Twist to one side, come back down, come up again, twist to the other side. And we are going to be crunching, twisting, for another 25 seconds. And we go. We go back down, we crunch, we twist. Back down, we crunch, we twist. We've got another 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two. Well done. Well done, ladies and gents. Well done. Awesome work. Forgive the freezing, but it is technical, and I am not technical. So, awesome work, awesome work. For those that have two kettlebells, this will work well. For those that have two dumbbells, it will work well. For those that don't have an equal of each, it doesn't matter. You're going to use your hands. You can get on your knees or you can go into a press up. What we are going to do is, with ideally the kettlebells, you're going to lean over them in a press up position. And you are going to press up like this. And we are going to do 15 seconds of press-ups. If you cannot do it like this, put your knees on the floor, lean into the kettlebells, and then you're going to press up. If you don't have kettlebells, then you put your hands on the floor, your knees on the floor, you lean forward, and you come down, putting that tension on the chest. When you come up, you not release the tension. Even better, cross your feet, Bring your legs up, and you can continue on like that. Whatever way that you want to do it. We are going to go 15 seconds, and it will then get much, much harder, just to let you know. So, when you are ready, we are going to get in the press up position. There is a delay, weird as it is. And we are going to go, in three, two, one, 15 seconds, press up. 15 seconds, press up. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Good work, great work. One, done. On your knees, rest it up. Your next movement now will be if you don't have kettlebells, if you don't have dumbbells, I can pretty much see that we've all got everything. 
are going to go into Renegades, let me give you an example. Your feet are going to go wide. Your feet are going to go wide. You're going to then press up. As you press up, you're going to lift one of the kettlebells down, then up. You're going to go down, and then you're going to go to the other side. And we're going to go into Renegades. As hard as that may look, it is twice as hard. So, when we are ready, we are going to go 15 seconds into Renegades. You might not hear me, because I will be knackered. Anyway, we will give it a go. So, three, two, one, we go. Press up, and then Renegade. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Awesome work. So, what we are going to do now, I'll wait until everyone's done because there's a, there's a lag. We are going to go into press ups. We are going to do 10 seconds of normal standard press ups. Then we're going to go into Renegades. We're going to do 10 seconds of Renegades. Then we're going to go into press ups again. We're going to go five seconds of press ups. Then we're going to go into Renegades. We're going to do 10 seconds of Renegades. So it's 10, 10, 5, 10. Press ups, Renegade. Press ups, Renegade. And that is what we are going to do for this particular section. When you are ready, we are going to take the stance, get the breath back, and 10 seconds, press ups. Three, two, one, we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then we go into 10 seconds, really, again. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Then we go into five seconds, press up. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. And then we end up with 10 second run again. 10 second run again. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and fuck me. Well done. Well done. Awesome work, awesome work. You will need bands. You will need bands for your next set. Well done. Great work, everyone, great work. Those on Insta want to give a comment, be very much obliged. Well done everyone, well done. Right, you need bands. Now. We are going to put the bands on. And we're going to break this down into 20 seconds increments. 20 seconds, just this move. This move will be your band underneath your knees. You're going to Put some pressure so that the band is nice and tight, nice and taut. We are going to squat down and your knees are going to force themselves to come out every single time you are at your lowest. So when you go to your lowest, your knees are flared. So make it a conscious decision to flare your knees every time you go down. You go down, you flare your knees. Activate glutes, proper work on them quads. Adductors, hip flexors, the whole lot. We are going to do this for 20 seconds. In three, two, one, we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Make sure that your knees are coming out at the bottom. 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Well done, well done. 
So I'm probably freezing on your side because you're freezing on my side. Hopefully you can still hear me and you can keep the momentum going. Hopefully that's what's working out. If, um, if you're losing me, just keep on going with the seconds, all right? Because the, the connection is pretty shit today and I apologize. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get the kettlebell and we're gonna go into goblet squats doing the same thing. So we're gonna be flaring out, flaring out our knees as we're holding the kettlebell. So goblet squat is going to be holding the kettlebell on the horns. Hold the kettlebell on the horns. So you flip the kettlebell up so the big bell is underneath your chin. And by having that, you've got a nice firm grasp on the kettlebell. And that now is a goblet squat. So 20 seconds, knees are gonna be flared. In three, two, one, we go. Goblet squat, knees flared throughout the whole movement. Knees flared, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, wicked work, wicked work, keep the bands on, you are now going to hold the kettlebell, you're going to squat down, you're going to press, so we're now going to add on to that, we're going to go 20 seconds, alright, so when you're ready, get that kettlebell, flip it on its head, hold it by the horns, and we're going to squat, flare the, up, flare the knees out, and then we're going to press, Three, two, one. We squat, flare the knees out, press. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Well done, well done, well done. Small breather. Small breather. And I will let you know now what we are going to do. Bremner, legend, what we are going to do now is wearing that band, we're going to be deadlifting that kettlebell from the floor. So we're going to go into squat lifts. We're going to do that for 30 seconds. Then we're going to flip the kettlebell on its head, hold it by the horns, and we're going to go into goblet squats. Every single squat. We're gonna flare the knees out, remember. Get that band proper tight. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Then, after that, we're gonna squat, press. Just how we just finished off. That is one and a half minutes of brutality on your quadriceps, on your hip flexors, and all in between. We are gonna get this thing on. The Saturday shift, shifting that body to different gears. So, Put your bands on. And you gotta watch out that the kettlebell doesn't bang your bands. Don't bang the bands. So how we do that is you hip hinge, you squat down. You hip hinge, you squat down. That's how you would not release. That's how you wouldn't bang on the bands. So, 30 seconds in 10 second increments. We go, 10. Nine, eight, flare the knees out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We hip hinge, we squat down, we flare the knees. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We have got ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, then we get the kettlebell, flip it on his head, and we are gonna goblet squat. We are gonna goblet squat for another 30 seconds. We go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have got 20 left. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep the tension on the bands. Keep the tension on the bands. Two, we have got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now we add 
a press. Now we add a press. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We have done 10. We've got 20 left. 9, 8, 7. Clear the knees every single time. Clear the knees. Make that band proper tight, proper solid. 3, 2, we have got the last 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, yes! Well done! Awesome work! Brilliant work. Okay, one last movement. One last movement. Kettlebell. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go into figure eight. Figure eight, right? Once we do figure eight, we're going to have the kettlebell and we're going to go squat, upright row. Squat, upright row. Then we're going to go eye level, sky level. So, those are the movements. 30 seconds, each one, revolving the body, shifting the gear, making this proper gear shifting Saturday shift workout. Well done. So, when you are ready, hip hinge. We're going to feed the kettlebell. Feed it through the legs. Catch it with the hand. Stand up. Revolve the kettlebell around. So look like this. We catch it, we stand. We catch it, we stand. And we revolve the kettlebell around. In three, two, one, we go. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 10, 9, 8. Making sure that core is the one that is being activated. You are controlling it with your stomach, your lower back, your hip flexors. We have done 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Remember to stand up every time you go. We have got the last 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We are going to squat, upright row. Squat, upright row. 30, 29, 28. 27, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, we have done 10, 9, 8, 7, keep the elbows high, higher than the wrist, every time the elbows go up, make sure they end up being higher than the wrist at the end of the upright row, we have got the last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, we go into eye level and we go sky level. Eye level, sky level. Go with the body, go with the flow. Just keep it going. Flow, momentum. Go with the body, go with the flow. Keep the momentum. Flow, let's go. We have got 20 left. 10, 9, 8, 7. We can do this. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, we have got the last ten. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Well done. Awesome work. I'm going to change the music. I'm going to change the music. Change that music. Where are you, tranquil music? Tranquil. I need tranquil. I don't need adverts. Get the adverts off. No adverts. All right. Tranquil. Okay, so let's get you back in the room. Well done, ladies and gents. Well done. Well done to everyone. Well done, Bremner. You waved at Lee Bremner. Fuck you, I waved at him. Right then, I also waved at James, and I also waved at Sue, and I waved at Callum. Thank you for being here. So we are gonna go into some stretching, and we're gonna add some breath work, so that we can just now settle our bodies. 
So, if anyone has their microphone on, could you just turn it off for a second? Because um, it's got to be a bit peaceful. Even though I've had an uproar on vocal. We are going to sit and you're going to be in a butterfly position. You're going to bring your heels as close, as your, close to your body as you can by gripping your front ankle. So where the foot, foot, <laughs> where the foot meets the leg. Grip it and bring it. Now from here, your lower spine should be naturally curved. We don't really want to slump here. So make a conscious decision of lifting your upper body up, pin your shoulders back, and what we're going to do from this position here is be conscious of our body. So where your knees are, can you get them lower? Can you sink them more into the ground? If not, don't worry, it will happen. Make sure that your lower spine is neutral, comfortable. Now what we are going to do is take a very deep breath in. Not a very, very deep breath, just a deep breath. Through the nose, expand the belly, and then we're going to blow the air out. So we take a deep breath in, fill up that belly, and then we let the belly out. Take a deep vocal breath out. Make a vocal breath. No one's in your room. No one cares. Just make any sound that you want. Lose any inhibition. Go in within yourself. Take a deep breath in. And then breathe out. And one more time. Take a deep breath in. And then we breathe out. Now we're going to take a very deep breath in. And we're going to hold our breath. So take that breath right in. Keep taking it, keep taking it, keep taking it. And then hold the breath. Hold the breath, hold the breath. Just hold your breath. Start feeling what's going on in your body. Start feeling all of that transportation, all of that fluid, all of that flow. Just feel it. Be as one with your body. Holding that breath, holding that breath. And only when your body tells you to, Take the almighty breath out. Only when your body tells you to. And make a very large sound. Sound it out. Sound it out. As you sound it out, breathe as normal. Breathe as normal. And then feel your shoulders sink. Feel your knees sink. And just stay still. Practice stillness. Have zero judgment what is going on in your body. Any aches, any pains, any stretches, any tightness, just absorb it, take it, accept it, and it will go, it will go. And we're gonna go for another silent 10 seconds. And you're going to breathe as normal through the nose, out the mouth. And you're going to bring your legs out. Bring your legs out. And your hands are going to be on top of your thigh or your knee. And you're going to hip hinge forward. Hip hinge forward without rounding your back. Without rounding your back. And you're going to grip your leg wherever that is going to be. So you're going to get into a position where your back has to round. Do not round it. And take a deep breath in. Expand that air out. Get rid of that air out and move a bit more forward. Take a deep breath in. Expel that air out and move a bit more forward. And from this held stretch, we're going to go into four second box breathing. We're going to breathe in through the nose for four seconds. 
We're going to hold the breath for four seconds. We're going to breathe out the mouth for four seconds. We're going to hold the breath for four seconds. And we're going to repeat four times. So when you're ready, we're going to go. Breathe in through the nose. Four, three, two, one. We hold the breath. Four, three, two, one. We expel the breath. Four, three, two, one. We hold the breath. Four, three, two, one. And we do it again. Four, three, hold. Blow the air out. Hold. Breathe in, four. Hold. Breathe out, four. Hold. Breathe in, last time, four. Hold. Breathe out, four. Hold. And now slowly bring yourself up. Slowly bring yourself up. Bring your feet close together. And then you're gonna lie on the floor. You're gonna lie on the floor. Put your hands beside you. Put your hands beside you. Bring one leg up, one leg up. And then you're gonna rotate your midsection so that your leg goes right over your other leg. Keep your hands flat on the floor and you're going to take a deep breath in once you have reached the end where your leg cannot go down no more without sacrificing form. So right now you should have both of your shoulder blades on the floor. Your hips have been rotated, you're feeling a hip stretch, you're feeling glutes, your T-band running across down that thigh. You might be feeling some tingling in your foot. Absorb it, don't judge it, and let it go. Take a deep breath in now. Through the nose, expand the belly, and then breathe out. As you breathe out, let your leg drop. Let your leg drop. And then again, take a deep breath in. And expel that air and drop that leg, drop that leg, get an even tighter opening, lower back, glute, piriformis, hamstring. And slowly bring your leg back into the starting position next to the other leg, and then the other leg is gonna raise itself up, and with your hands both on the floor, you're gonna rotate your leg over your straight leg. You're gonna get to a position where you can't go down no more, without your shoulder blade having to come up. So, you're gonna stop there. You're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose, you're gonna expand the belly. You're gonna hold that breath for three, two, one, and you're gonna expel that breath, and you're gonna let the leg drop. You're gonna let the leg drop. And you're gonna take a deep breath in again. Expand the belly. And then you're gonna let that leg drop as you take that breath out. You're gonna feel your hips opening up. You're gonna feel your glutes. You're gonna feel your lower back. You're gonna feel your T-band. You're gonna feel your chest. You're gonna feel a lot of things. Then you're gonna return back to the start. Return back to the start. And then what we're gonna do is go right on our front, right on our front, and we're gonna get on all our fours. We're gonna get on all our fours. And once we're on all our fours, we're going to sit back into our hips. Sit back into our hips, go towards our heel, and the arms are going to be naturally stretched out. Don't overstretch them. And what we are going to do now is go into some pulse energetic breathing. We're going to go five breaths, hard on the inside, harder on the outside. You go in through the nose, you go out through the mouth. On the fifth breath, that you are going to expel out, you are going to self-count. 
how long it takes your breath to escape your body until you have nothing left in your body. And then you are going to hold that for five seconds. It's going to be your count, not my count. So it's five breaths in, five breaths out. On the fifth breath out, you're going to hold your breath. Sorry, you're going to breathe, your, you're going to breathe out as long as it takes for you to have no more air in your body. So you're going to go with me for the five. When you're ready, we go. One breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out. Last breath in, and now breathe out as long as you can. Breathe out as long as you can. Count that breath, count that breath, count that breath. Let it out, let it out, let it out, let it out. Don't judge it, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Keep on going all the way until you don't have nothing left. And then count your hold. Count your hold, five seconds. Five seconds, count your hold. After five seconds, breathe as normal. Breathe as normal, breathe as normal. And find yourself being able to sink more into that stretch that you've now developed. The cat stretch. Real deep now. Lower back opened up, hips. Your rib cage should be on your thigh. You should be proper flexed. So I'm going to go for one more breathe. One more breath. One more energy first. But instead of breathing out, we're going to hold the breath in on the fifth one. Hold the breath in on the fifth one. And then we're going to count the breath out like we've just done. So when you're ready, we go. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out, breathe in, out. Last time, we take a deep, deep, deep breath in. Deep, hold. Hold that breath. Hold that breath, don't judge it. Hold it for as long as you can. Hold it, only until your body tells you to get it out, get it out. Do not conform, do not feel pressured. Work with your mind, work with your body. And when you are ready, take an almighty breath out and count your seconds. Count your seconds. Let it go, let it go, let it all go, let the body go. Sink. 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 Be as one. Tranquil. Sobriety. Solid. Find the inside. Have no judgment. Be as one. Embrace the change. Kiss the strange. And after five, four, three, two, one, you're going to slowly make your way up. Slowly make your way up. Slowly make your way up. And you're going to go into one supine stretch. And we have dropped down them gears. <laughs> Thank you.